If you have a dream of doing this, it's not impossible. So my favorite thing on the bus was ordering my chrome grill. In building a tiny home, every square inch counts. I've got a lot of ideas now that I didn't have before. Hi, we're Jennifer and Richard, and welcome to our home, the Burla Bus. Come take a look. Some of the things that were important to us in our planning for our layout was that I wanted a full-size um, stove and oven, as well as a residential size refrigerator. Our refrigerator, we ended up having to get a um, counter depth refrigerator so that it would fit through the door to get it in here. We measured, remeasured over and over and found one that would fit through our door with taking our doors off. So that was very exciting for me to be able to have this. Um, we do have a microwave and a um, range hood that has the vent fan, which works great for our oven. So our oven and stove are propane and with our full size um, oven, we can, for Thanksgiving, I was able to cook a full size ham and many other things, which was pretty awesome. Our refrigerator is a 110 inverter refrigerator. Um, it is plenty big enough for our family of three. Um, our freezer has two drawers in it, which works great, and we absolutely love it. We have our Keurig coffee maker for my husband in the morning, and um, also this fruit basket has worked great. I wasn't sure where I was gonna put that when we were kind of laying out our countertop space, but um, the fruit little hammock works great. On this side, we have our countertop and our sink. Our sink is a lot bigger, I think, than a lot of tiny homes that I've seen, um, but we wanted it to serve multiple purposes. Um, we have our Berkey water filter, which is wonderful. Um, where we are parked nine months out of the year, we have super hard water there, and this works great. It, our water tastes wonderful going through that. Our kitchen cabinets were ones that we bought pre-made um, that were in sections and we picked out how to put them together. Um, our cabinets have drawers, all have drawers in them so I don't have to bend down and reach to the back but I can reach everything in them. And we have the organizers in them. I had a lot of kitchen utensils. Actually, it looks like I still have a lot, but I did pare down quite a bit and everything has a, a place in the drawers. This one has drawers as well. And then our garbage can is underneath here as well as our cleaning supplies. Our upper cabinets have the struts in them so that keeps them closed while we're traveling. Um, we did put a small screw under here and use hair ties for while we're traveling just in case um, wherever we're to get in an accident. Um, a lot of people ask what these hooks are here. We have a hammock chair that we um, use for movie nights. And so that hooks up here as well as when we're traveling, we hook a ratchet strap um, down there and we have another hook down below here to go through our refrigerator just to keep it in place. Um, our first time traveling, we learned the hard way and our refrigerator went for a little ride across the, the aisle way. Our countertops are a poured epoxy. This was the thing my husband was super excited about doing. He researched and researched um, how to do the poured epoxy. Um, it's from a company called Stone Coat Countertops and um, it was a lot of fun just mixing all the colors together and then pouring it and seeing how it came to life. Our backsplash is ceramic subway tiles. Um, we went with a smaller one in hopes that we wouldn't have any problems with cracking and they've held up great so far. Um, he put a cement board behind it um, to keep it from shifting around. My favorite part of our kitchen is my pantry. Um, we have, it's in two sections. We have the top doors and the bottom doors and the whole thing has um, pull out shelves in it. When we um, originally built the pantry, we were minus one drawer down on the bottom, but I kept measuring and remeasuring, seeing I think we can fit one more drawer in here. And so once we did that, I was able to organize all my spices. One thing that my husband and I joke about is every, 
We've built two houses of our own. And when you build a house, every square foot counts. In building a tiny home, every square inch counts. And so we've had to kind of figure that out along the way, but I absolutely love my pantry. Over here, we have our son's bedroom. Um, we have a 14 year old um, teen boy and he has his bunk in here. When we built the bunk, we made it I think six inches longer than the twin um, bunk mattress that we got for it because we knew he was growing and now he's taller than me and so it is working out well. We just stuffed some blankets down in the end. He puts his pillows on it so it's a little bit longer. He has his own TV in here and this is just his hangout space. Down below he has a huge drawer with all his clothes in it, his Rubik's cubes, he's huge into Rubik's cubes and all of his things down below there as well as we have storage up above here. People ask, was it hard getting rid of things? And it really, for me, it wasn't. It was more free. It was freeing. intimidating at first. It was, it um, felt overwhelming. Yeah. Um, Cause but we had, we found out about the jobs, we, put our house on the market and got rid of all of our stuff in two months, two to three two months. months yeah. um, our house sold in two days. We had multiple offers and so it went really quick. And the crazy thing is when the bus, um, or when we sold the house, our bus was still pretty much an empty shell. shell. We had it gutted. We had some of the framing started, but we're like, oh goodness, we have to move into this in three months. And so we moved in um, with my parents. It was a lot of long days. Long days, long days. But it was but, worth it. Yes. My dad has a huge pole barn, heated pole barn that we were able to back it into and work on it all of that winter or for the three months over that winter. And in March of, 22 we moved into the bus and so it's not quite a year yet um, but we are absolutely loving just the simplified lifestyle so welcome to our living room area we have two jackknife couches in our living room that actually fold out and make into a queen size bed we have them that they can meet in the middle um, we also have a 21 year old son who comes and visits us sometimes and so this is kind of his space for when he comes and stays with us when we originally put the couches in they had a material like our front seat, but after one season of use of our dog jumping up and down, it started to crumble and fall apart. And so this fall, I actually took the couches all apart, unstitched everything, made a pattern, and then re-stitched um, and made new cushions for the couch, which has worked out much better, much more durable. We have a table that hooks onto our lagoon leg here um, that we can use for meals when it's not nice outside. We tend to eat outside more than we do inside. And this winter, as we've been traveling, um, we use this as an office space as well um, to do some of our work that we do remotely. Um, my husband and I are the operations manager of a campground in Michigan. And so we're on site in Michigan for nine months out of the year. And then three months we get to travel and um, see things, see cool new things and meet cool people. So the one thing that was important to us is that we utilized every square inch in our build. And so our top um, shelves, cabinets here, we have um, used all the way along the bus. So we have one here for our board games, some of our kitchen stuff, and then this is more of our miscellaneous things that we store over here. Um, our cabinet doors we bought from the same place that we got our cabinets from. So the doors are different color, but matches the style of our kitchen cabinets. And then my husband built the, the frames because to meet the curve of the ceiling. Um, so we built the frame first and then put the doors up in there. And then we have our mini split um, head mounted up front. We debated in the beginning whether to put it up front or in the back, but we figured during the hottest part of the day, we're all gonna be up front. And so we decided to put it up here and then um, at night, we kind of crank it down a little bit and when we're plugged in and so it cools the back pretty well. It's worked well for us. 
So moving on back to the of the bus here, um, we have a door kind of separating the front and the back of the bus. Um, we wanted to be able to give our son some privacy as well as ourselves. And so this door has worked out well to kind of split up the two spaces. So moving down the hallway, um, behind our door here is our closet where we put our heating clothes. We have some baskets in there um, with clothing as well as up above here, we have another storage area above our son's bunk that we put a lot of our clothes in. Um, our This is kind of our linen closet. Um, of our bathroom, we have our towels in here, all of our just toiletries and stuff fit inside of here. On the right hand side here is our, um, our bathroom. We have a compost toilet with a thrown composting urine diverter. Um, we built our own. We had originally we had used a different urine diverter and it would leak and was a mess. And um, since we put the throne one in this fall, it has worked so, so much better. We're very, very happy with that. Um, and then we have a shower with a curtain rod that comes around. When we first built the shower, we couldn't figure out how to do the curtain rod. And so we just had hooks with the um, curtain hanging different areas. It was just kind of Janky looking, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and so we found this at Menards with, and Richard cut it, retrofitted it, and it works, it works great now. So for our shower, we do have 40 gallons of fresh water that we store under our bed. Um, and then we have a gray tank that holds, I believe, 48 gallons. Um, this has actually been our first um, full week of being off grid. Typically, um, we manage the campground and so we have full hookups and are traveling this winter. We've mostly had full hookups, but I was proud this week. We went six days with um, our 40 gallons and we're just kind of learning that water consumption, um, how to take showers differently when you're off grid and um, it actually has been going really well. And then on the side over here, we have our washer dryer combo. In our cabinet here, we have a lot of cool power stuff. Um, I don't totally understand the solar part of it. Um, we had somebody that kind of designed our solar system for us. Um, it was something we researched over and over and we just decided to contact somebody that knew more about it. But I do know it does run my air conditioning this week in the hot Florida weather. All right, welcome to our master bedroom. Um, it is the size of a queen mattress. Um, when we built it, we only had limited space, so we decided that the bedroom would just be the size of our mattress, but it's working out well for us. We have a ledge over here that we put our clocks, we charge our phones on. Um, we have a light above our um, pillows here, so if we wanna read at night, as well as storage on both sides um, that we store just clothes that we don't use real often. And then we have a shelf up above that is my bookshelf and just some extra storage space up above. We searched all over for a bus. Uh, I worked for a school system for a while and I did bus mechanics. So I knew what engine I wanted. Uh, I knew what engines to stay away from. Uh, I always liked the looks of the International body style this, this year, this model year of the International. Um, so we looked all over for it, could not find <laughs> one that was worth buying. Online. Yeah. Um, we were getting ready to go out to Pennsylvania to a big bus auction. Um, and I was still doing construction at the time. And one day I got in my truck and I was working at a job two miles from our house. And a half a mile before I got to the job, this bus was sitting on the side of the road. For sale. For sale. Like a car for sale on yep. the side of the road, but it was, yep. a, it was bus a bus for sale. And so I stopped and it was actually a school bus from the school that I graduated from. And so it still has my school name on the old grill. So that's why another reason why I want to put the chrome grill on it so I can keep the old grill with my school name on it. Um, it was in school a lot longer after I graduated than yeah we joke we joke about people are like so did you ride on that school bus Richard yeah. and I'm like mm, no it was built 21 years after, after he graduated, graduated high so, school but yeah. it's still cool it came from yeah. the same school system yeah. well welcome to the outside of the Burley bus and one of the neat things that we liked about 
our build was we took out the folding bus doors and we put in a regular RV door with a, with a touch pad in it. The one thing I like about it is it's got a shock on it, so it holds it open. But then if we want the screen shut, like a regular RV, we just shut the screen and pull it shut and it lets us put fresh air into the, the bus. So that was one thing we thought was pretty cool. We found that at a RV surplus store and got it for, it was a steal of a deal getting it at the surplus store. Um, another thing we got at the RV surplus store was our awning, which is an electric 18 foot electric uh, acrylic awning. Um, I priced them online and they were super expensive. Went to the RV store and I paid a third of the price at the surplus store that I would have online. But it's got an LED strip uh, along the bus and then it's actually got LED lights in the arm so they shine back towards the bus when we got those turned on at night. So it kind of brights, brightens up the, the patio area here under the, the awning. On our underbody storage, we, we wanted to use as much of the, the area as we could, you know, anything we could find for storage. Um, so I found some underbody storage boxes off trucks uh, at an, actually at another surplus store. Uh, they're brand new, just scratch and dent. We got those for probably half, more than half the price of what we would have paid brand new. When we first started the build, our first idea was we were going to keep all the school bus windows. But as we got working on it, we noticed that some of them were leaking. So we took all the windows out, spent two weeks taking all the windows out, uh, cleaning everything off, all the sealing off them, resealed them, put them back in the bus. And I washed the bus the very first time and they were still all leaking. Uh, so we decided to take those out. We ordered sheet metal and bought RV windows and which I'm kind of glad we did because we were able to insulate the bus better. So everywhere where there's not a window, it's got two inches of insulation all the way up. It helps the mini split run better, uh, helps us keep it heated better. Um, the biggest problem with it was, was on each side, there's 300 rivets that you have to drill out, pop out, and then re-rivet. So that made it a little more challenging. I wanted to make sure I didn't have any problems with lights going bad on me. So I replaced all the lights, the main lights with LED lights, and those have been great. They haven't given me any problems. Um, I don't have to worry about bulbs going out. Um, I've also uh, replaced all the clearance lights with LED bulbs. Uh, so that they are uh, pretty much trouble free also. And then in our back door, you can open this up and this is underneath our bed then. And we've just got uh, storage tubs. Uh, we can see our water tank from here uh, so we can see the level. We've got a, a gauge too, but sometimes it's more accurate just to come out and look in here and see what, what level it is. Um, and then the way I keep this locked is in the bedroom, this flips over comes down and it's got a little latch that flips in there so then this can't go up and the handle on the emergency door will hit that and they can't open it from the outside but in case of an emergency in the night if we need to get out we just flip that I pick this up and I can reach down and grab the emergency handle open it up and then we can come out the back of the bus all right so back here in the back we've got our water heater it's an on-demand tankless water heater uh, runs off propane um, so as soon as you turn the hot water on, this will kick on and just a couple seconds later, you got hot water at the faucet or in the shower. Um, and it works, works great. We haven't had any issues with that at all. All my water hookups are here. So if we're uh, hooked up at a campground or at our campground, um, I got city water and then I got a fill for the, the fresh water tank in, in the port here. So on this side, up a little bit further, um, up on top, you can see we got six uh, 395 watt solar panels. Um, so that powers, actually it's split up. The first four are running to one solar charger. The back two are run to a separate, separate solar charger. Um, that keeps our batteries uh, charged up, especially on a, a sunny day like today. Uh, we can run our air conditioning. The mini split runs all day and the batteries stay at 100%. So my favorite thing on the bus was ordering my chrome grill. Uh, the school bus uh, has, in Michigan, they have to be painted grills. So it was painted yellow the same as everything else and I didn't want the whole front end blue. Um, so I finally convinced my wife into letting me order a brand new grill. This is the only thing I didn't buy at a surplus store or anything. 
I paid full price for it and I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. So <laughs> I had to find the, another emblem because the original emblem that was on the old grill was a different shape. Um, so I was able to find a, a new emblem for it as well. Um, but I thought it dressed up the front of the bus made it look a little bit sharper. Any advice I would give anybody is if you've got a chance to go to any schoolie events uh, like the one we're at now uh, with schoolie swarm, you know, and you got a chance to go and just look at buses, go and look at them. Because even um, us walking around looking at different buses now, we're, we're finding things that, oh, we could change that on our bus or we could do this a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Or maybe even, you know, a couple years down the road, if we decide to build another one. I've got a lot of ideas now that I didn't have before. Because we um, had never even been inside of a schoolie before. Done. We just watched a lot of tiny yeah. home tours and we're like, that's yep. kind of cool. And yep. here yeah, we you, are you living on it. And on yeah, that, so. it's just, yeah. it's crazy how we ended up here. Two yeah. years ago right now, this was a dream. We were sitting every yeah. morning on our phones, watching tiny Looking home buses. tours. Yep. And now here we are, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, if you are interested in checking out our build or kind of our adventures that we're on now, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Burla Bus. It's um, B-U-R-L-I-B-U-S, The Burla Bus. Thank you so much for joining us today, um, touring our home, our schooly tiny home. Um, one thing I just want to tell people is if you have a dream of doing this, it's not impossible. Um, two years ago, if you would have told me I was sitting here right now, I would have said that's crazy. But um, yeah, dreams are possible. And if it's something you're interested in, it's never too early, too late to do it. So I highly encourage you to do that. Thanks so much for joining us.